This video is sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Design video product faster, with Envato Elements, get unlimited downloads, After Effects templates, stock footages, fonts, music files, web templates and many more. Visit the Envato Elements, check the first link in the description, and get 70% discount on first month subscription. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project. You can download them from below link in the description. The complete After Effects template is also available on my web store, check out the link in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal, create a new composition, I will name it as logo animation. For this composition, I will set time duration to 7 seconds. Perfect. Now let's add the logo to the timeline. Scale your logo if needed. Now pre-compose it. Name it as logo. Select move all attribute into new composition. For this logo composition. Go to layer. Select auto trace. This will create mask for our logo. For the logo composition. Press U to view keyframes, now select all and delete the keyframes. Now for the logo composition. Go to effects. From video copilot, select Saba. If you can't see the Saba or video copilot option, then you need to install the Saba plugin. Download link for Saba plugin is provided in the description. Now in customize core, select core type 2, layer mask. You can hide the mask outline. Now let's change preset to, electric. Perfect. Here you can change the color, I will set it to red to match my logo. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for start size and start offset. Press U to view keyframes. Now at start. Set size to, 0%. Set offset to, 100%. Now at 1 second and 15 frames, set size to, 100%. Now at 3 seconds. Create keyframe for size. Now at 4 seconds and 15 frames, set start size to, 0%. Also set offset to, 0%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now set end size to, 0%. Now at 1 second and 15 frames, create keyframe for end offset. Now at 6 seconds, change end offset to, 0%. You can see the preview. Let's set core softness to, 3. In distortion, in glow distortion, set distortion type to energy. Set amount to, 10. Now in render setting, set composite to, transparent. Change alpha mode to mask core. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this Seba, for Seba 2. Let's change the glow color, here you can set it according to your choice. 
change composite setting to add. Now press U to view keyframes, here we will move Saba 2 keyframes by 15 frames forward. Select Saba 2 keyframes, move them 15 frames forward. You can see the preview. Perfect. If you want to cover the whole logo, then you can create multiple duplicate and shift keyframe positions. Now let's pre-compose it. I will name it as Sab Logo. Now let's create a solid layer. This will be our background layer. Place it below Sab Logo. Now let's add the floor media file to the timeline. Let's change it to 3D. Press R to bring up rotation. Set X orientation to 270. Now position it below. For floor, in effects and preset. Search for motion tile. Add it to floor media. Select mirror edge. Now increase output width and height as shown. Here we will have the reflection of the above Saba logo. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as floor. Now let's hide the floor composition. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for compound blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. For blur layer, change it to floor. Set maximum blur to 150. Now let's create duplicate of this sab logo, place it above the adjustment layer. For below sab logo, adjust the position as shown. Perfect. Change both Saba logo composition to add. Now for adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for solid composite. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now change color to black. Perfect. Here our Saba logo part is done, now let's create the glossy logo part. Let's add the reflection map media file to the timeline. Here we will scale it to 50%. Now in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to the reflection map. Now increase output width and height. Select mirror edge. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for tile center. Now at end of the timeline, change X position for tile center as shown. Perfect. Now in effects and preset. Search for camera lens blur. Add it to the reflection map. Set blur to 30. Select repeat edge pixels. Now for this reflection map, we will set opacity to 75%. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as Reflection. Now let's add the logo composition to the timeline. For Reflection, change Track Mat to Alpha Mat Logo. For Reflection, in Effects and Preset, search for CC Glass. Add it to the Reflection Composition. For CC Glass, in Surface. 
change map to logo property to alpha now set softness to 35 set height to 35 set displacement to minus 100 now in effects and preset search for cc blob lies add it to the reflection in blowiness change blob layer to logo change property to alpha now set softness to 5 set cutaway to 5 perfect now let's again add logo composition to the timeline for logo change mode to overlay now select logo and reflection composition pre-compose them name it as glossy logo For glossy logo press T to bring up opacity at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for opacity. Now at start. Set it to 0%. Now we will place this composition at near about 3 to 3 second and 15 frames. Perfect. Now let's change logo composition to 3D. Create a new camera. Create a null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position. Now at start, create keyframe for position, now at end. Change Z position as shown. Perfect. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our Saba Glossy logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.